anyone in the GTD world has a list of things they review and routines and rituals that they do on a regular basis. I'm no different, as you can see here. I have a bank of seven different projects that I work through on repeating schedules in order to help me keep things in order. Again, the idea is to keep things simple, so I, I really don't want to have to think through what it is I need to do during each of these particular scenarios, so I build out these lists that repeat in order to make it super simple for me to, to find and work through those. So let me just step you through what I do for reviews on a regular basis. Um, starting with my morning routine. So if you take a look at this, you can see I have it just deferred to every single day. They're setting at, uh, it's repeating every day. Um, based on the assigned dates, sometimes people I see have this set from completion. Well, that would slowly move it back every day. You want it from assigned dates. So in this particular case, let me get here. So what I have on this particular list, um, and I have this broken down by what time in the morning, just so it helps me keep things on pace. Now, first thing you're probably gonna notice is this is a pretty long morning routine from 6.15 till about nine o'clock. Uh, it's about two hours, 45 minutes. That's a long morning routine. Do I follow it exactly every single morning? No, I do not but this is what I aspire towards. Now, it's pretty simple to follow this. I try to do yoga first thing in the morning. I do my Bible reading, do some prayer time, go have breakfast with my family, commute to work um, at the church. Then I spend about 30 minutes writing either an article or a newsletter. Um, that one I have to try to make sure I'm building in the habit of getting to that right away whenever I get to my office. Otherwise, it doesn't happen. You know, I work in IT. Interruptions happen. Sometimes I've got three requests before I even make it to my desk. That happens. So <laughs> thus, it has to be flexible. Once I've completed that writing, I have a list of things that I go through to empty my inboxes. It's just a simple checklist um, that has me emptying out my file inbox, my paper inbox, my OmniFocus inbox, drafts, uh, news feeds, RSS feeds, Twitter, Instagram, any of those things. I clear out all of that. Um, and then I take 10 minutes to meditate. And that is my morning routine, and I try to make sure I do that every single morning. And it just kind of sets me up for a good day. I don't know what yours should be. It's all going to depend on how much time you have. When I was working corporate, I had a morning routine of exactly 20 minutes. And the bulk of that 20 minutes was spent, um, I would do prayer while doing yoga, um, and would do a little bit of Bible reading before I left. Most of the time, I would have breakfast going while I was doing my Bible reading. Like I, It was quick, and I had to do multiple things at a time. So you may not be able to do two hours, 45 minutes. Like I'm blessed in the fact that I'm able to do that. Now, anyway, that's my morning routine. Now, the big one here is the weekly review. Um, this is one that people refer to quite a bit. I do something a little bit odd with this, and I'll show you here. Here is my list of things that I do for... Uh, my weekly review. The first thing I do is clear the review perspective. We're all familiar with how OmniFocus has the review perspective. Love that thing. It's amazing. More about that in uh, a script I wrote. So go to the scripts video. Um, I've got a script that makes it easy to schedule these things. So mine is scheduled currently for Monday morning. That's when these things show up. Um, I just completed this as I'm recording this. Uh, as you can see here. So I clear that re review perspective first. And the only thing I'm really trying to do is make sure I have next actions assigned for every single project, mark off the projects that are completed, um, and just make sure that each one that's in the list is up to date. I'm not too concerned about if I should be doing the project yet or not. It's just a matter of keeping the projects up to date. And then I do a couple of things here that I don't see a lot of people do. I'm just running scans on my computer. I use Clean My Mac. Um, from Setapp and Gemini as well to look for duplicates. Every week I'm running those scans. Um, and I found that on a weekly basis I'm clearing out between 2 and 10 gigs worth of data on my computer. Who knows where that stuff comes from, but it's regular. So it's just kind of nice to have that thing cleaned out. Again, I'm cleaning my inboxes, doing a mind sweep, um, which I use a, a markdown file that has uh, David Allen's trigger list. For that, I'll drop a link to that in the, the course materials here with this video. Um, but this particular list is pretty extensive. I don't think I've added to it at all, but it's it's one that I review on a weekly basis when I can. 
Um, it takes me about 20 to 30 minutes to go through that just because of how much it triggers for me. Um, so I don't always get it done. I say 10 minutes there, but I'm probably being a bit optimistic with that. Reviewing my calendar. Then I get to reviewing the list of projects. Now, this particular one is handy in that I have... Uh, I go through the list of projects that I have inside each of my areas of focus. So I'm just opening up each of the individual folders over here and looking through them and choosing whether or not the projects I've got in those are the right ones. I'm trying to make sure that I am progressing on those areas of focus while I'm at it. Thus, you can see the next item there, review areas of focus. I kind of do those two at the same time. Um, I'm making sure that I have the right areas of focus and that I have the right projects inside of those. So again, when I'm clearing the review perspective, I'm just after making sure the projects themselves are up to date. And then later on in my weekly review, I'm making sure I have the right projects. That's just a whole nother level of conversation with yourself. So that's kind of my review of Horizon 2, as you can see the order of operations there. So once I've got that particular piece done, then I've got the review of Horizon 3, 4, and 5, making sure that everything lines up the way that I want it, clear out my physical trash can, um, and I'm off to the races. You know, once I've done that, I've got my weekly review done. And I've been doing this exact review now for probably six or seven months, um, and it's constantly evolving and tweaking depending on what's going on in life, but it does serve me quite well. Something I do is every afternoon I have a not really a shutdown routine as much as just things I need to do towards the end of my day. I have it set up to show up at every day at noon. Um, I usually don't even get to this till about 3, 3.30. It's just nice to have it on my available list uh, so that I can get to it when I can. Because there are times when I go home at 1.30, 2 o'clock uh, if I've got things going on. And I try to run this before I head home. So simple clearing out of certain inboxes, cleaning things up, head home. I like to make sure I'm cleaning up a couple of things that are recurring at home uh, as well. So that's all that does is just mostly cleaning, making sure I've got things cleaned up and ready to go for the next day. Um, used to call this mise en place from the world of chefs. Um, so if you're in that world, you'll understand that. Uh, neutralize, this is not one that recurs as a project, but these are things that recur for me. It's just simple mundane stuff, like making sure I have coffee ground, making sure the dog has a haircut. Do I vacuum the house on a regular basis? You know, without it on this list, I wouldn't really think about it because it's just easy to forget. Um, cleaning up, you know, bad passwords in one password, moving my old data to an archive and OmniFocus. Like these are just simple, mundane things that I don't do on a regular basis if I don't have a triggered reminder for them. So super nice. Uh, I this project has saved me more than a couple times. Every evening, I have an evening routine to shut down before I go to bed. Simple stuff, setting up breakfast, essentially, and journaling before I go to bed. Pretty straightforward, but again, I'm just getting things out, ready to go for breakfast. That way, I'm not trying to get things out whenever I get up in the morning. On a monthly basis, and I wish I could show you this, but I can't, uh, there's a handful of things in here, or a couple things in here that are very specific that involve payment of sorts. Um... But there are a couple people that I need to pay based on revenue I have, uh, their percentage of income that we have on joint ventures. I don't always get it done if I don't have a reminder. Thus, the monthly project, all it is is one-off items that I need to make sure I get done on a monthly basis. Annual, these are things I talk through with my wife, Becky. Uh, what did we accomplish in the last year? What do we want to try to do in the next year? Take a look at our financial state. Do we need to adjust where our investments are? Do we have all the right insurance stuff? Like These are things we don't generally talk about unless we have some form of a meeting of sorts to discuss them on an annual basis. It's uncanny how many times we make big adjustments to how we have our money handled based on this particular conversation that happens every January. It's roughly the first week of January. So I guess I got to start getting ready for that as I'm recording this one. So that annual review is not necessarily just me, but it involves my wife on a large part as well. So I hope that's a bit helpful just to see like what should you be reviewing on a regular basis. I'm not saying this is identical to what you should have. I'm saying that having this sort of a layout is has proven to be extremely helpful for both myself and a lot of people I know that run OmniFocus in their setups and for reviews. So 
take a look at what are you reviewing on a regular basis? Can this make it easy to keep your sim system simple and make it easy to make sure that it's always up to date 100% of the time?